And we're back and this time I'm going to show you how to recreate this Instagram effect in Adobe Photoshop. We need a gradient for that, a mask and obviously a photo. Let me make the background black, the paint bucket tool, left click. Now I use a photo, you can download that via description link below and I select the model. So I use the quick selection tool for that. The selection doesn't have to be perfect, we are going to use it as a mask. And the background is going to seamlessly blend over so we don't have to really look that much at the edges but obviously you shouldn't have major flaws in it so go over it with the left click to add parts to your selection and hold alt and left click to get rid of parts of the selection When you've got a basic selection, just right click and layer via copy. So we've got it on a separate layer. We need that. The next step is to create the Instagram logo. I use the black background so that I can see it properly. Let me add a new layer and I use the rounded rectangle tool. No fill, but a white stroke. Let me use 25. I don't want to have shape selected. Just drag it and hold shift. That way each side has the same size. Press Ctrl A, use the move tool and align it with the top menu. Let me resize that pressing Ctrl T. I'll try out different sizes and Now uh, maybe even smaller. I guess that should be fine. Let me play around with the sizes. First stroke. So use the properties menu for that. Maybe 40 pixels is fine. I'll change the curvature of the corners. Make sure that linked icon is activated. That way all of the corners are adjusted at once. We need to add the circle in the center. So use the ellipse tool. We've got the same parameters, so it's still a white stroke with 40 pixels and no fill. And once again, Control A, then use the move tool, align it to the center. We need another circle. This time it has a fill and no stroke. Oh, that was my mistake. Let me press Control Z. I'll open a new layer. Otherwise, I've got the first one affected and I don't want that. So as I've said, white fill, no stroke. It's still a shape. Hold shift when you drag it. And now I use the arrow keys to reposition that. And that's fine for this logo. I'll select all of these layers, so the three in total. You can hold shift when you do that and left click, then press Ctrl G to create a group. So this is now what I have. Let's start with the next step, which is to add a gradient. Let me create a new layer. And I use this gradient, so for colors, if you want to use the same, just copy the hex code that I show you. These are the Instagram colors, or at least some of the colors in the gradient that's being used on the logo. I'll hold shift when I drag that top to bottom. Ah, let me repeat that. It wasn't that good. Ctrl Z and I'll do it again. That's better. I'll change the blending mode and I want to use multiply. I'll go down with the opacity a little bit. Maybe to around 80 to 90. That's a good value here. 
So it depends on the image that you use. Play around with it yourself. So we want to add a layer mask to our folder. And then use the brush tool, I'll set it up to 100. And now I hold control and I click on the layer icon of the selected model. So only that is now part of the selection and I still paint on the layer mask. I use a black color for that to conceal. And that way I can create these effects. So you decide how you want to layer that within the composition. So right now the circle would be in front and a rounded rectangle in the back. Let me copy that. So I press Ctrl J, delete the layer mask, add a new one. Once again, hold Ctrl, click on the model. And now I'll make the circle go to the background in a composition. And maybe I'll play a little bit around at the leg down there so that way it gives it even more depth we can add another effect on top which makes this logo glow a little bit all you have to do for that is to right click on the folder and then use the blending options And we want to add an outer glow. We can use normal or screen that produces the best results here. I'll stick to normal. Opacity is important, so check that out as well. And as a color, you definitely want to have the color that you've used for the logo design, so white in this case. Noise, I don't want to have noise here. It doesn't create good results. And spread and size are two sliders that you want to check out. You can see when you create the size too big, it doesn't look good and it blends too much over to the model. So I want to keep that down. Maybe to around five to 10, something around there. You can just simply copy this layer style with a right click and then paste it on the other folder. So I've had these two compositions and with this little copy paste, I've added it to the first one easily. And this is how you can recreate this Instagram effect in Adobe Photoshop. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.